well, congrats on getting your second uh, consecutive Emmy there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, it was even the second one is is also a surprise because you figure that wow, it happened once, it can't happen again. But I mean, it did, and it was uh, remarkable, and I'm very happy that it did. Well, uh, congratulations, and 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 also I'm very much looking forward to uh, the premiere on Sunday. I thought last year's premiere, which I think you also directed, I would have paid money to see that in a theater. It was so incredibly gripping and visually just amazing. Thank you very much. Well, I'll accept your thirteen dollars now if you want to pay me for the for the fee. Um, it is this this show is very cinematic. It's it's not written like a TV show in a sense that at the end of each episode we don't have to wrap things up. We answer a question and we ask two more. So it's a continuing saga, and that gives the writers and us playing it the joy of being able to be in the moment of the time, knowing we don't have to con make any conclusions. It's fun. Well, your character is is a uh, you know faced with a lot of grim. Uh, circumstances and actions etc and yet there somehow uh, you bring these moments of levity in there uh, and and there's humor I mean it's dark humor yeah. are you are you drawing upon uh, your, your your considerable experience in comedy you do uh, although you know in in uh, Breaking Bad uh, Walt has no idea that he's at all. There's nothing funny about the circumstances that he's in. And the comedy has to be organic. It has to come out of the character's situation and condition. It can't be a joke. So whatever humor that comes out of Breaking Bad, it's, it's circumstantial depending on that, on that moment at that time. Well, and, and Walt, I mean, he, essentially, by the end of last season, he was, he was a murderer. I mean, he... He was responsible for the death of Jesse's girlfriend. Uh, and are we going to see him get even darker, dig that hole deeper? Now, you know, if is that, I mean, that's up for debate. <coughs> is, is, are you a murderer if you are, are guilty of omission from preventing someone from dying? Uh, perhaps. I mean, at least. By not providing aid. At least morally, certainly. It's almost a Clinton, uh, you know, depends on what your defini definition of is. Of is, is, exactly. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I, he's certainly culpable. There's no question about it. And what is going to happen to this character is remarkable. It's never happened on television before. At the beginning of this series, he was a certain type of person, a, a mild-mannered high school chemistry teacher, good family man. Through the set of circumstances that occurs in his life, he's going to metamorphosize into this other person, and by the end of the show, by the end of the series, he will be a hardened criminal. Yeah, exactly, wow! And when I was told that, I, I, my eyes bugged out. To be a part of history is, is uh, certainly a, an honor. So, I'm looking at Heisenberg, he becomes Heisenberg. The person. He becomes Heisenberg, yeah, exactly right. And this man right here is responsible for it all. Blame him! I will. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a journey. It's, it's a wild ride and a journey, so we're excited to be on it. Did you, did you first meet Vince on, on X-Files, or where did you? Yeah, 10 years ago, I did an episode of X-Files that he wrote brilliantly, and it was out of that that I, I, I was introduced to his nuance and his, his writing ability, very delicate. Um, and, and I saw from that one episode how and where he can go with his storytelling and and so it wasn't it wasn't hard for me to decide that I wanted to do this and hopefully he wanted me to do it and that worked out and here we are well, I very much appreciate you talking to LAS we're looking forward to this upcoming season like you wouldn't believe so thank you so much thank you good to see you again Thanks.